So, uh, so we're, uh, we're coming up on the Olympics, qualifying. Uh, congratulations to these two selected, uh, uh, to uh, the squad for CONCACAF qualifying, and you guys start camp in a couple of days. So no country has ever won in a, a World Cup and an Olympic back-to-back. -back. So what's going what's gonna to change this time, Sam? Oh, that's a big question, but... Um... I mean, because I spoke to a Dutch coach yesterday who said, uh, who said the Netherlands will be winning the Olympics. Oh, well. Yeah, just, just so you know. Okay. Um, I mean, I think that one of the really hard parts about repeating something like that is just, um, like, there's, there's pressure on the team. There's a lot of eyes on you. And I think that that's something this team has proven um, that they really can perform under pressure like that. And uh, my hope for the team is that um, we are just gonna continue to develop this year. Um, obviously we have a whole new staff. I feel like we're learning some new and exciting things and um, I'm hoping that the team can just demonstrate its ability to continue to perform at a high level under a lot of scrutiny and a lot of pressure and I have full confidence um, in the group, especially the group that we're going to qualifying with. I feel like that's the first step um, and we have a big opportunity coming up to demonstrate what we've been working on. Yeah, it's interesting because uh, maybe the, the coaching change comes at a time where it is, it are, there are fresh ideas and, and it's, maybe that will help overcome this back-to-back -back syndrome, you know, if you're under the same leadership. What do you think? I would agree. I, I think, uh, you know, from experience in 2015 winning, uh, which was remarkable. I mean, I think that, you know, that was sort of uh, a big thing as like 99, um, where it just kind of transcended and obviously, a little bit different generations uh, with social media and all that, but I think that that was, that was massive. Um, so I think with that, you know, there comes opportunities, uh, paid appearances, sponsorships, commercials, shoots, all these different things that so many of us were experiencing. Um, and, you know, I, I, I don't want to say that, you know, every player took their foot off the gas a little bit, but um, there's a lot of things coming at you that, you know, you, you really haven't experienced. Um, there were some other things, too, tactically, which we can get into at another point. Um, but we didn't win in 2016 uh, Olympics, and that was a major disappointment. Um, actually, the worst, worst exit that this team has ever uh, gone out at at the Olympics. So now with this, you know, 2019 was even bigger than 2015. Uh, but I feel that we have a, a very fresh start. Everything is new. You know, basically our whole entire coaching staff is new. Um, it's fresh. Uh, we've got, you know, a, a coach who is a, is a great, great person, um, but also wants to individually develop players and wants to develop this team. Isn't coming in and, and making all of these different changes because he ultimately knows that we are the best team in the world and we have some of the best players on this team. It's his job to just make us even more dominating. And, and I really believe that this group, you know, we are better than these qualifying teams. We are better than these teams around the world. But it's our job to go out there and, and show everybody that we are from a dominating perspective. And I think that's, that's going to be the biggest goal. But I think that, you know, nobody's, nobody's safe. You know, there's, there's no starters out here right now. Everybody's fighting for position. Um, and that's what's going to push on to make our team great. So I think that we're in a really good position. Um, ultimately, it's going to be us to, to get the job done on the field. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be an exciting year.